Kia ora, Craig here from Context Tohara Geothermal Power Station site in Topol. It's time to provide you with another update on how we're doing on site. We've been in the construction phase since March 21 and are progressing well to be operating late next year. There is always something happening on site and the scale is evident with well over 500 people currently working on the construction site. Tohara is now expected to generate 174 megawatts of renewable electricity. This is up from the 152 megawatts first announced when we kicked off the project with Sumitomo. The Tohara steam field will have an extensive array of pipelines including over 18 kilometers of large bore piping. The hidden part of the pipeline includes around 400 tons of pipe support steel and 1950 linear meters of piles that support the pipelines. Cross-country pipelines have an insulation and cladding system to protect people and animals from the extremely high pipe temperatures as the geothermal fluid travelling through the pipes comes out of the ground at temperatures in excess of 220 degrees centigrade. This busy area is where we separate steam out of the hot two-phase fluid coming in from our production wells. The four tall separator vessels have been craned into place over the last couple of months and we are now welding up and connecting in the pipes that will supply steam to the power station. 238 meter long cooling tower is rapidly taking shape. We see here the fiberglass structural components being assembled and bolted together. The cooling tower will be clad green to merge into the background and there's 13 large fans on top used to draw air across the water being cooled. We cool around 35,000 tons of water an hour. That's equivalent to the volume of 14 Olympic-sized swimming pools. That's a wrap for now. Thanks to everyone for their hard mahi so far. It's great to have a team of more than 500 working so well and so safely together. Enjoy the year-end break, and we'll see you back in the new year for another update. Namihi nui.